Let me start by saying I am not an expert astrophotographer, and what you're about to see is my method for processing my EVASCOPE PNGs. I've recorded this video as so many people requested I explain my processes. When I capture my EVASCOPE images, I save every few minutes or so. This creates multiple PNGs for each session. The files you are seeing are from multiple nights. They were stacked and processed in Pixinsight. This video is all about how I enhanced the Pixinsight image in Photoshop. This image is the result of stacking and processing about one and a half hours of EV scope PNGs. The first process is to use the Star X Terminator. This creates a layer with just the nebulosity and galaxy removing all the stars. This lets me enhance the subject without damaging the stars. The middle layer is the image without the stars, which I copy and paste as a new image to work with. Next I duplicate the layer, mainly so I get that if I get it wrong, I don't have to delete, I can just start again. Working on that layer, I adjust the curves to brighten the nebula and darken the sky. This has resulted in the galaxy NGC 2023 being overexposed. So I select this on the working copy and delete it. So the original image of the galaxy shows through. Once I selected the area, I copy that to a new layer. This allows me to blend or overexposed area if necessary. In this case, it isn't necessary, so I simply delete and flatten. Now I want to darken the background, so I select the areas of nebulosity and the galaxy and copy them to a new layer. Now I can darken the background without affecting the nebula or the galaxy. I also at this stage want to soften the nebulosity to lose some of the pixelation. We all have our favourite noise elimination apps. I have several, but find Image Nomic does this function the best. I don't want to soften NG2023, so once again I delete that from the working layer. If we paste our work so far into the EV, EV scope master, making sure to paste above the third layer, we can see how the image is progressing. Let's return to our working layer. There is an area that runs through the horse head that is brighter. Let's emphasize that by selecting it with a 10 pixel feather and creating a new layer. We can then use curves to brighten that area.
Now we can adjust the saturation of the red and magenta colours. Once we're happy with the saturation, we can then flatten the image, create a duplicate and once again adjust the curves. Now once again we need to select NGC2023 and delete it from the working area as it is now overexposed. Let's paste this new working layer into our master to see how it looks. Duplicate the working layer and again use the levels adjustment to further darken the sky. You will have noticed some noise and white specks in the nebulosity. These are readily removed by using the dust and scratch filter. All that's left now is to paste our working layer into the EvoScope Master and flatten the image. Then we can crop to lose the noise from the, over, uh, the overlapping integrations. RC Astro Star Shrink allows us to reduce the size of the bloated stars. And finally, I use Astronomy Tools Action Set to make the stars less crunchy and more fuzzy. So this demonstration has been created in about 10 minutes. The processes would normally take me a couple of hours in masks and adjustments. So this video is just a rough guide to demonstrate the processes. I would normally be more accurate in all of the adjustments, but I hope the demonstration does give some idea of how I work in Photoshop.